Hallow his name. Hallow his name, Adonai. Elohim, Adonai. Hallelujah. Very, very powerful song. Very powerful song. I'm sure we're going to be singing this song again and again. Very powerful song. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Remains an honor to stand in your presence and to worship. Thank you for the sounds of worship that have gone forth from this place even to the nations of the earth. Thank you because we declare that your kingdom come in the name of Jesus. You have helped us and you will help us yet again. We pray that your word will come with power. Tonight I pray that it, in this atmosphere of worship, let the sick be healed. Let every oppressed be delivered. Let there be all kinds of breakthroughs. Amen. Let there be impartations Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. May we never return the way we came. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Please help me honor Pastor Nat and his dear wife. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. May the Lord bless you sincerely in Jesus' name. It's my joy to be here. Please be seated. We'll have a few moments with the word and then we'll get to pray. Matthew chapter 6, just to establish a few things. I love to teach the word of God because it brings light, it brings illumination. And on the strength of that light, we now can be able to do exploits as people in the kingdom. Matthew chapter 6, Jesus is teaching here and verse 9. He is teaching them to pray according to Luke's account this discourse came as a result of a request. The disciples said, teach us to pray as John taught his own disciples. Matthew does not have that account, but that's what Luke says. And he says, after this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. The verse of emphasis is verse 10. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. The concept of the kingdom has been one that um, has not been properly understood, I would say, in the body of Christ. We have done teachings about Jesus and that, that is the ultimate. We have done teachings about different facets of the faith life. But I think that um, very few believers really understand the whole idea of the kingdom and the implication of this statement thy kingdom come so for me i was really blessed knowing that the lord put this as a theme and i'm sure that speaker after speaker you have received all kinds of dimensions of knowledge about the kingdom i'm not really dwelling there i just want to pick my emphasis is to help us to learn and really know how to enforce the kingdom i am passionate about the experience of spiritual realities that spiritual realities should not just end in theory there must be an expression to spiritual realities where we can be able to demonstrate the reality of the things that we believe here and now praise the name of the lord hallelujah and so Jesus in this statement did not only reveal the reality of the fact that the father desired that his kingdom be made manifest and by now I'm sure that you know that the kingdom of God is an expression of his culture the kingdom of God is an expression of his glory the kingdom of God is an expression of every atmosphere that makes God God are we together so when we talk about the kingdom um, we refer to every sphere of influence generally speaking a kingdom is defined as every sphere of influence where the authority of a king is allowed to find expression and in the Bible you would see two expressions the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom 
of God. Maybe just for the purpose of this discourse, I would give you the difference. The kingdom of God refers to every sphere where the power, the dominion of God extends to. And that is everywhere. The psalmist said, where can I hide from your presence? So when we talk about the kingdom of God, we mean everywhere, including hell. Because there is no record of Satan creating anything. It was the psalmist who said, even if I hide, if I find myself down to the pit, you are still there. The kingdom of God is every sphere where the dominion of God can reach. If there is anywhere the dominion of God cannot reach, whoever is responsible for dominion in that area should be God. So he's everywhere. Are we together now? But the kingdom of heaven is that, that area, that, that sphere where the dominion of Jesus has been received and allowed to find expression in reality. It's called the kingdom of heaven. The word heaven there does not just mean up, you know, like we know. So when the Bible talks about the kingdom of heaven, he means that there is a call that you should be able to through well I, I, i'm not going ahead of myself but you will understand at the end of this teaching that just because you are in the kingdom of god does not mean you will experience the reality of the life of god it takes you functioning from the standpoint of the kingdom of heaven now you have embraced his government and you have allowed it to find expression are we together so Jesus is teaching them and he says, when you pray, pray in this manner. He was not necessarily saying, repeat this. It was not about repetition. It was a spiritual protocol. He says, when you approach God, let this be your revelation. Number one, you are approaching Abba, his father. Don't come to him as a stranger. That prayer in the kingdom is a family affair. Abba, father. Number two, who art in heaven, meaning you will require faith in dealing with God because he's in a domain that is more than, he's not in a physical sphere here. That means you will sustain a technology that can help you to interact with the realm of the spirit and the physical realm and it is called faith. So be conscious that the God you are talking to and the father you are talking to is not physically there with you. So you would need faith. Who art in heaven? Number three, hallowed be your name. That even though he's your father, do not get too familiar with him. He's also the God of the universe. So approach him not just with confidence, but with the spirit of reverence. Are we together? And then next it says, thy kingdom come. In other words, in order of priority, this is God's ultimate desire for you. That his kingdom his influence his governing influence that it will find expression in earth the bible says as it is in heaven you would notice the bible didn't say on earth in earth and you may have heard me say that the first earth is you that earthen vessel that the kingdom the dominion of heaven should find expression first in you and then across the spheres of influence hallelujah so he tells us that he desires. Do you know why this is powerful? Because if this is answered, you will not have to pray, give us our daily bread again. You would not have to pray, deliver us from evil again. That the, the fact that you need daily bread and the fact that there is the presence of evil is because of the absence of the kingdom. So he said, while I am solving those problems, the real thing that will answer that problem issue once and for all is the coming of the kingdom provided the kingdom does not find expression there will always be lack there will always be oppression so he's saying i will provide your needs i will do everything that you need however my ultimate desire is that it be done in your life and in earth as it is in heaven they do not pray give us our daily bread in heaven they do not pray deliver us from evil in heaven and so he says that which occurs in heaven 
I desire for it to happen here. That this prayer request of give us our daily bread is a symptom of something wrong. That the presence of the kingdom will remedy it permanently. So that while he's bridging that gap and providing daily, that his ultimate desire is not to provide daily, is that you step into a realm of supplies that the presence of the kingdom captures. Are we together? But that's really not where I'm going tonight. He now tells us how the kingdom comes. If he just told us that his desire is for the governing influence of heaven to find expression in our lives and he just left us there, we would be in confusion. And he said the kingdom comes when your will is being done. Please give us verse 10. Thy kingdom come, and he tells you how the kingdom comes. Thy will be done. Someone please say, thy will be done. This is very powerful. That means the secret to manifesting the kingdom, the secret to enforcing the kingdom is found in the will of God. That everywhere the will of God is allowed to find expression, the kingdom must come within that place are we together now so in pursuit to see that the kingdom of god comes your focus should not really just be the kingdom but it should be understanding the will and this is what i want to help us understand tonight the bible lets us know that everything happens within this kingdom and on earth if it is to glorify god it must be consistent with his will his will is a representation of his desires his will is a representation of his plans for man so he says everywhere my will is done my kingdom comes if you see my governing influence and the possibilities that follow that influence happen in any area it is because my will has been allowed to find expression now that is a risk it is a risk to submit yourself to the will of another except that he tells you that as as god and as father i am a benevolent god he's not afraid to tell you the thoughts that i think towards you to douse away your fear because submitting to someone's will carry is a risk and he says fear not for the thoughts that i think towards you jeremiah 29 11 that they are always thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you a future and hope or an expected end that means i trust the will of god why because i know that my interest is represented in his will the idea of submitting to the will of a king if not properly understood would 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 paint god as an insincere manipulator who gives just because he wants to draw you to submit to his will until you understand that the entirety of that will is for your good are we together now yeah we talk about selflessness in relationships is that true um we talk about doing things not because of who you are and all of that so when you see the benevolence of god as revealed in scripture and then you find out now that for you to be effective in the kingdom you must bend to his will without accurate understanding it immediately confuses you because it means so all of the things you are doing is tied to my executing your will that sounds like a selfish manifestation from a king except that the entirety of his will is to your benefit apostle james taught us that god is love and that perfect love cast out fear because fear hath torment so we are not afraid of the will of god whether we fully understand it or not because we know that the will of god is always to our advantage this becomes our security in allowing his will to find expression in our lives are we learning something now praise the name of the lord let's discuss a bit about his will because if the will of god does not happen in my life and your life the kingdom will never truly find expression the will of god in psalm 40 i'll give you a few scriptures psalm 40 from verse 7 and 8 psalm 40 from verse 7 and 8 it says lo i come 
in the volume of the book as it is written of me I delight to do thy will oh my God yea thy law is within my heart this is the psalm is speaking by the spirit I delight not to do what I want to do I delight to do your will no wonder he was a man after God's heart no wonder he lived in the reality of the manifested presence of God received sounds and encounters that were beyond his realm it was him that saw the coronation service of Jesus the Lord said to my Lord because his heart was about the will of God Psalm 143 and verse 10 Psalm 143 and verse 10 it says teach me to do thy will for thou art my God thy spirit is good lead me into the land of uprightness teach me to do thy will I confess that I'm ignorant of your will but that your kingdom coming is tied to your will being done so teach me not just to do my desires teach me not just to do what I feel like doing the secret of securing your presence your power your glory in my life and in my atmosphere is to do your will please pay attention to this subject of will therein lies the secret behind the manifestation of the hand of God the possibilities of the kingdom in the life of an individual and even across a territory teach me to do thy will when Jesus showed up as the son of God in John chapter 4 and verse 34 when Jesus showed up you would think that just because he was God incarnate he would come and just do whatever he wanted to do I mean that was the word coming from the father John said in the beginning was the word the word was with God the word was God so you would think that automatically everything he would do would be according to his desires but hear what Jesus said the word of God now speaking Jesus said unto them my meat do you know what that means my meat means my satisfaction like you eat for satisfaction my satisfaction is derived from doing the will of him that sent me and to finish his work my goodness in other words Jesus was saying I did not come with a personal agenda of my own my assignment is to find out the will of the father and to be about doing it that was the secret behind his exploits the things that the reality of the kingdom finding expression in the life of Jesus did not just happen just because he was Jesus because remember Jesus came as a pattern man to show us what we would be like if we walk according to the pattern Jesus himself had no agenda no wonder the father said this is my beloved son and then later on he would say this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased hear ye him he is my recommendation if you want to secure my presence my glory my power the reality of the possibilities that come with this kingdom understudy this pattern man called Jesus and Jesus here is giving us the secret that my meat while I walked upon the earth my satisfaction was to do the will of him not the will of them the will of him that sent me the will of him that sent me are we learning John chapter 6 and verse 40 Jesus still speaking John chapter 6 and verse 40 let's read together if you can see it ready he says and this is the will of him that sent me that everyone which seeth the son and believeth on him may have everlasting life and i will raise him up on the last day that means all the crusades of jesus and his message his message did not just come out of a sermon he prepared in isolation his message was a derivative of the will of the father his call to draw people close to god to experience the life that only his death his burial and resurrection would administer it was not a personal agenda it was derived from this will thy kingdom come by your will being done hallelujah two more scriptures is God speaking to us in Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 15 
apostle paul now mentoring the church in ephesus he began to speak to them about walking circumspectly he says walk circumspectly that means accurately not as fools but as wise he said redeeming the time because the days are evil the instruction is in the next verse he says therefore be ye not unwise but understanding the will what the will of the lord is he's saying that when you understand the will of the lord it will help you to walk accurately so that you don't waste your time doing so many things only to come back later and find out that you were about the things that did not carry eternal value he said the wisdom here is making sure before you take any step verify that you are in the will of god He's giving you an advice. First, he tells you that you can walk in foolishness or in wisdom. And then he says, let me teach you how to walk in wisdom. Understand what the will of God is. Verse 17 now. Understand what the will of the Lord is. To understand the will of the Lord. Because that is how you secure his glory, his power, and all the possibilities that come with him are we blessed in first john chapter 2 and verse 17 first john chapter 2 and verse 17 apostle john is teaching us to love not the world remember when you read the preceding verses say love not the world nor the things that are in the world for all that are in the world this and that when he gets to verse 17 here's what he says and the world passeth away and the lost thereof he says but he that doeth the will of god abides forever he that is about doing the will of god abides forever are you ready for the next verse hmm. first john chapter 5 from verse 14 to the point that the guarantee to your answered prayer which is the basis for receiving everything is dependent on the degree to which your prayer aligns to his will more than your tears more than the sincerity of the trouble that plagues you he says this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will key expression according to his will our confidence that is that he cannot hear anything about his will and ignore it Are we together that God has a soft spot his soft spot is that he does not deny or negate anything that is connected to his will so the way to get God's attention is tie anything you want to his will he says that when you tie once his will is involved he does not sustain the ability to deny it he calls it our confidence it's like a loophole we have found in our walking with God that every time I try to get God's attention and I find out that for whatever reason he does not seem to give me attention I know how to get his attention hmm. when Hannah continued to pray and pray for a child every year she came to Shiloh praying and it looked like God was not interested so you would think she found a plan according to your will it is the king, priest, and prophet. There has to be a prophet who will anoint the kings. And now I do not see any prophet on sight except Eli, who is an old man. And this man may die. So, oh God, my womb has the possibility of providing a son who can later be a prophet. God said, what did you say? Once, once. The Bible does not say anybody just came and, and there's nothing wrong with that, that there was some prayer for her. She just found a way of connecting her desire to his will. This is the confidence. He does not, he said this is the confidence. In other words, bank on this possibility. Bank on this loophole, if I would use it. In the north sadly there is a lot of kidnapping and some of these kidnappers studied men and they found out that there were certain people if they capture the their families didn't pay attention to them are we together 
yes pragmatically speaking they found out that there are certain people when you capture and you tell them bring five million they say look whatever you do just do because clearly we don't have that money but there were certain individuals that if they were captured the family will go left right and center to insist and they found out that from their experience every time they capture children both parents government the society seemed to be restless until those children were restored and so they said we have a plan rather than stealing people one by one and struggling and bargaining for one one million two two million let's just come to a school or let's just come to a region and capture as many children it will be too much for the government and individuals to ignore us it was a plan they found a loophole here apostle john is telling us there is something i have learned working with god that every time anything is connected to the will of god it's like you have touched a soft spot that will compel him are we together yes you see why god made a covenant with david david sat down and said god there is something i've done to you that is not fair what is it i am here dwelling in the palace and even though the heaven of heavens belong to you but there is no place there is no representation here for a temple and whether or not you are in agreement with this as for me i've made up my mind that i will stand up and build you a house and god said who is this prophet nathan talk to this man i will enter an eternal covenant with you a covenant of mercy that no matter what you do, I will punish you. But there will never be anybody. There will never be the absence of someone to sit on your throne. A covenant that came because he understood the power of the will of God. Let's look at that scripture one more time. First John 5, 14 and 15. This is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will take note anything according to his will anything tied according to his will he heareth us 15 he says and if we know that he heareth us whatsoever we ask we know that we have the petitions we desired of him we don't have to wait until it manifests our verification system is that our petition went through the sieve of his will and provided his will was connected to it we find rest that what we have asked is coming are we together yes so if we want to see the kingdom find expression in our lives we must be able to understand and to know his will there are two assignments god is giving us tonight very quickly before we begin to pray assignment number one is found in colossians chapter one and verse nine the first assignment as far as making the kingdom manifest in our lives and our communities Paul was praying over the church in Colossae and he says for this cause we also since the day we heard it do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will everybody say the knowledge of his will that means walking in the will of God requires knowing what the will is he leaves that as an assignment the knowledge of his will you must know the will of God the knowledge of his will what has God said concerning you what is the will of God concerning your destiny what is the will of God concerning your finances what is the will of God concerning your health that is the cure for praying amiss you pray according to his will are we together now yes the greatest skill I know in prayer is to pray according to his will regardless the sound of your voice regardless the position of prayer the ultimate verification system is that if it is not according to his will it is only the mercy of God that may make that prayer answered this is our confidence he says that we grow in the knowledge of his will there is the confidence that a believer carries 
when you know you are walking in the will of God. You cannot walk in the will of God until you know. Let me tell you this. Do you know how Jesus got to learn the will of the Father? Read your Bible. He did not just come with it because he was the Son of God. Remember, he stripped himself of everything that would make him God. And he started afresh. At age 12, the Bible told us that Jesus was about the temple. Asking questions. Interacting with the Pharisees. He was not just trying to know the law. He was searching what exactly is the will of God. And he found that the will of God written concerning him. By the time we get to Luke chapter 4 from verse 16. He got to the temple. He had mastered the knowledge of the will of God. And with confidence. The Bible says he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read what was he reading the will of God concerning him it was delivered to him the book of the prophet Isaiah and when he opened the book he found a place where it was written the spirit of the Lord is upon me this is Jesus now because he had anointed me he found out he was the me that the prophet was talking about there that means my going about to do good my going about to heal the sick is consistent with the will of God. Are you seeing there? He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, recovery of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised, and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. He closed the scripture, verse 20 and the bible says he gave it again to the minister he sat down and the eyes of all that were in the synagogue was fastened on him and then when you read on the bible says he began to tell them that this day someone said this day he said this day is this scripture what scripture the revelation of god's will for me as far as my assignment is concerned and everywhere he saw the sick and they reached out to him he did not withhold his hand because he knew that he was walking in the will of God. The will of God secures his backing. The will of God secures his presence. The will of God secures that heaven will be with you. God is not going to back you. You will not see the glory of God manifest in an area and in doing something that is inconsistent with his will. Are we together? The first assignment is to know his will. His will is whatever is written. You may have heard me teach that every time you open your Bible, it does not tire me to share this with the body of Christ, that the Bible primarily contains three dimensions and three expressions of spiritual reality. Number one, promises. The will of God, His promises. His promises define the boundary of his commitment to the believer. God cannot be committed to the believer outside of the provisions that his promises allow. Please understand this. That means when you want to secure the help and the attention of God, you must be able to secure where it is written that that help should be given to you. If you cannot find where it is written, that the help can be given to you even though God can help you he has submitted himself to his word and he would have to walk within the jurisdiction and the allowance that his word provides that is why God only does what he says he does not do what he can do he does what he says if he has not said it there is no possibility of it being done you have to on this is the protocol that's how God works if God wants to do something, he does not do it in silence. He has to announce it. Even if he's alone there, he will still say it. The saying it is not just for you to hear. It is a protocol that his power only moves in the direction of his speakings. So the Bible says, like me, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. It didn't say let the redeemed that is in the presence of others. Uh -uh. Even if you are alone. Let's bless the Lord for our Father. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. Are we together? Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the prosperous of the Lord say so. 
let the blessed of the Lord say so saying so is not informing people that you know what you are saying saying so is creating the platform for the power of God to back it someone say so say so declare I am blessed I am saying so declare that I am the head and not the tail I am saying so I'm not just announcing to principalities and powers I'm releasing that sound in the spirit and everywhere that sound goes the power of God trails the sound until it comes to fruition listen before Jesus died he said so that he would die and come back to life if Jesus did not say it he would never be able to return he had to say it it is the reason why everything that happened in scripture especially in the life of Jesus there had to be a prophet that said it even the prophets were not they were not saying it to see it. they knew they would not see it but they had to keep that word so that when the power of performance come it will ask where is the word that guarantees this for 400 years certain words remained in the realm of the spirit and when the time came listen you have to learn this the power of God came in January to lift you but did not find the word you release in the spirit that makes for the lifting the power of God came to favor you it's not that God did not answer the prayer but where is the will where is the will the will translated in words the law court is not a place of silence it's a place of speech even though there are things written the lawyers and the judges don't just say look at it see it no in the court there is no see it they say it declare thou that ye might test be justified are you learning can I tell you this no matter how long the words will stay keep them there the day the power assigned to that word comes let it find the will waiting the union of that will and the power of God guarantees that there shall be a performance so there was a word a young virgin shall bear a son and the power of God started looking for that word he found that word and start, started going around the nations and it landed on a young lady and the angel she was not praying for an angel to come the angel was following the will according to the blueprint of God's program Jesus was about to arrive and it would take a virgin to bring him the Bible never said Mary because there was no name any virgin that made herself available would have been used if Mary said no he would have left her and gone to another one because no name was attached the same way Satan too looks for this will is an information he talked about the betrayal of Jesus but he never said Judas Judas was not the first person Satan tested read your Bible he tested Peter he tested other people Judas was the one who was available there was there was there was nothing written in scripture that money would be the basis of deception it would have been anything he just found a treasurer that he could cash in on his availability assignment number one we're still discussing the assignment the knowledge of his will that means listen you're excelling in this kingdom you want the kingdom to come you must be able to laboriously work with the Holy Spirit to have in your life and within your reach a compendium of the will of God this is here scattered through scripture but you can go a step further to piece together everything you know he has said concerning you that becomes the basis of everything you do when Satan came to Jesus after praying and fasting Jesus would have said what an insult I created you he said no it is written I have to connect my desire to the will it is written why would the word say it is written it is written hmm. it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God it is written it is written it is written the will of God is someone learning yes. the will of God is scattered through scripture let me walk you through three 
or four principles or three or four scriptures that are scattered in scripture that reveal the will of God as far as our excelling in this kingdom is concerned. Number one, Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26 to 28. The Bible says God made man in his own image and after his likeness and he gave him, he said, let them have dominion. Watch this now. Over the fish of the sea. In other words, have dominion over this territory of the sea. Have dominion over the air and have dominion over the earth. Let me tell you the implication. It's not about fish and cattle and birds. These are spheres. Every manipulation of witchcraft happens within this realm. The sea, the air, or land. He's saying, I have given you dominion. That means with that consciousness, it is illegal for any of these elements to be used within your reach against you and that it succeeds because you were given dominion. It is, are you getting that now? Over everything that creeps upon. And then when we get to verse 28, God blessed Adam and he said, be fruitful. You don't need to ask God, should I be fruitful? His will is clear. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Let me tell you what that means. Be fruitful also means be relational. You can't be fruitful alone. Fruitfulness requires relationships. That means whoever must show up in my life so that I become fruitful, you are part of that command. You see that now. This is where you can find the basis to call destiny helpers because God said be fruitful and I cannot be fruitful alone. So whoever is connected to my destiny to ensure that fruitfulness by reason of the knowledge of his will, I can declare that they come and they will come. He says multiply, replenish, subdue, have dominion. Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1. It shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command you this day. Verse 2 says, Thou shalt be exalted on high above the nations of the earth. Say influence. So influence is the will of God for me. That it is possible and God desires that I am exalted above the nations of the earth. And then he says, this blessing shall come upon you and even overtake you. I believe this. I believe this. Are you learning now? These are scriptures. Genesis 17 and verse 6. Genesis 17 and verse 6. That scripture just came to my spirit. Someone say amen if you believe it. Amen. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful. It says, and I will make, notice, I will, I will, I will. It is my will. I'm not just thinking it. I will make thee exceeding fruitful. I will make nations of thee. And kings shall come out of thy loins. Listen. Hear me. When you understand this, and your child returns with a result that may not be the best you have a right to go to God remember the confidence in prayer and say Lord according to your will I have discovered that kings and nobles should come out of me not armed robbers and problem creators therefore I place a demand upon your integrity to make your word good this is how we reign in this kingdom can I tell you most of this sympathetic emotional approach to Christian living may just comfort us but it will not produce result. Lord what is this? Why is my life like this? If it's a prayer of inquiry no problem the Holy Ghost will help you but if that is what you mean that you are praying you are wrong. You are wrong. Prayer has to be according to his will. There are rules of engagement. When Jesus was in Gethsemane Here's what he said, Father, please, left for me, it is within your power to take away all this pain. You are God, you can do all things. Why don't you just declare over men that they are saved? But he remembered, if I am ever outside of the will of the Father, 
I am outside the zone of safety. I am outside the zone of immunity. And quickly, he said, nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Hallelujah. So Colossians chapter 1 and verse 9, the knowledge of his will. Please write it an, as, an, as an assignment. You have to go back and stay with God and laboriously search through scripture. What has he said? Jesus himself went to search what was written concerning him as consistent with the will of God. What have you found that was written concerning you? Thou shalt be the head and not the tail. Thou shalt be above only and not beneath. Is that true? Now you believe it. That becomes your garrison, your fortification. That every time you come to him, he says, in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. So everywhere we travel to, we expect to be blessings because there is a will that backs us. You cannot travel to a nation or travel to any life and be a cause because it is against the will. Are we blessed? Yes, sir. Assignment number two. When you find out the knowledge of his will, the second assignment is found in Hebrews chapter 13 from verse 20 and 21. Hebrews chapter 13. Now, the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant 21 he says make you perfect the word perfect there means entire not just matured entire in every good work to do his will do you know what this means the God who desires that you do his will may he supply every grace needed to insist that there is no excuse to doing his will this is the prayer so the first is to know his will and then number two he's saying let him make you entire the word perfect there is not missing anything that means if i need prosperity to do his will that god will have to make that grace abound towards me if i need supernatural intelligence if i need superior levels of the anointing provided it is a tool to help me do his will he says perfect in every good work entire all the tools you will need it's like an architect or a builder so he has a head pan he has the mixer he has everything and if there is anything left God provides it to make sure there is no excuse as far as doing the will is concerned. That's what he did to Jesus. Because Jesus came determined to do the will of the Father. He ensured that even if it meant the Spirit without measure, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, the Bible says, with the Holy Ghost and with power, he went about doing good. Because it's the will of God. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. From the father of lights in whom there is no variableness, nor shadow of turning. So if I am an advocate of good, I must be strengthened by the spirit. That means that it takes more than the knowledge of the will of God to do the will of God. It takes an engracing from heaven. This is one of the things we have come to receive tonight. Because many of you have found the will of God for your life. But the strength to push through. You know God wants you to be somewhere. You know God wants you to feed a thousand children. But the wherewithal to make it happen. This conference, this night is supposed to bring to your life whatever tool is needed. Listen. I'm saying this so that as we begin to pray, as we begin to worship, you open up your heart. For some of you, the level of wisdom that the will of God as revealed by your destiny requires, you don't yet have it. So whilst we are praying, when we say impartation, don't just think of falling down alone. No. Know what is coming to you from heaven. The nature the job description of my call, which is consistent with his will, requires that I speak to kings and I need wisdom. So, when the power of God is coming, you know that wisdom from heaven, superior wisdom that is more than wisdom that comes with age, is coming as a tool for the will. 
the grace that he supplied upon our lives by the privilege of God's grace it is because he knows that it is part of the equipping required you know, sometimes people send me text messages. I'm sure that's, that's true for Pastor Nat. When I saw him and he just came to say hello, I said, Pastor Nat, you didn't have to come. I understand you've been stretched. And now he teased me and said, we also saw you traveling from wherever and coming here. You see this supernatural strength? If you are lying, ministry will prove whether you really have caught this thing or not. You can't pretend it. So if he gave you the spirit of might, it is because he knows that the demand, but your life is consistent with his will. So you will see a unique expression of that strength. It is not normal. Whoever does not have his will connected like that, who tries it will suffer because the immunity that protects you as you are about his will may not be there for someone else. That's why someone can rest his head for 15 minutes and get the strength of three hours. It's part of the equipping that came upon you to insist that you are effective in doing his will one time the father's love needed to be revealed in a crusade ground problem there was no food and he said feed them i am teaching them about the father i don't want them to live with the impression that god is only concerned about their spiritual lives and they said look don't embarrass us these people are angry we've been three days here with them even a yes, if, if, if we have bakers who come and make bread, let's quietly let them go home. He said, no, I want them to know something about the extent to which the father can go to reveal his benevolence even over their needs. And to do that, there was a unique grace that multiplies. It came in honor to that desire. Can I tell you, the reason why many people seem not to be anointed is because the entirety of their pursuit has no kingdom come in it and the entirety of their pursuit has no space for God's will to be done. Believe me, you can pray and fast for 100 days if there is no kingdom come captured in your desire and no determination to do his will at the end of that prayer and fasting all that will happen is god will reveal the corruption of your heart for you to take you back to another fasting that you now be a proper fast for his will are we together the assignment god gave pastor nat to reveal the sounds of worship to the nations mandated that not only will he be a gifted worshiper but be able to play this not just as a music tool but as a weapon there are many people who might be able to play the either the saxophone or the trumpet but there is a unique expression of god's grace do you know why because that is the equipping it requires for the will of god as committed to him to find expression thy kingdom come thy will be done i know people sir who didn't have the privilege of really going to school early but when they had certain encounters with god part of the grace that came upon them was the grace to speak fluently because the nature of the will of God allocated to them would require that they would speak to intellectuals and kings. And if God, if they were to go through that regimen of learning again, a major part of their years of active service will be wasted. And so God had to outsource a way of making them match to... Uh, you don't know how far God can go in making you ready to fulfill his will. It is these kinds of people that he suffered no man to do them wrong and even rebuke kings for their sake saying you know people misquote this scripture out of context people who have veered of the will of God and they say he suffered no man and everything wrong is hurting them your security is in the will of God So when the Bible says your kingdom come and that your will be done, the meaning of that, listen carefully please, the meaning of that is that every time I know the will of God and I obtain the grace from heaven to subscribe to that will, in truth, heaven will find expression. 
so let me use for instance let's assume my brother here can i use you sir please come let's assume that this gentleman is suffering from some ailment right now are we together you know that with a diseased body there is a limit to which he's able to serve the purposes of god is that true and then more so it is the will of god that all men not only be saved but to be healthy i wish above all things the spirit speaking through the apostle that thou prosper and be in health so if it is true that it is his will there must be a provision to remedy this diseased body so when i come in the name of the lord and as i minister to this man it's more than just a man of god being anointed i have committed my life and said lord knowing that it is your will to heal the sick can i become a tool in your hands that you can use to birth your purposes on this wise and god will honor it and honor your desire by giving you the requisite level of engracing can i tell you there are people who really do not plan to be millionaires but by the nature of what god wants you to do as revealing his will you will have to be a millionaire run away it will look for you the reason is because without it you cannot truly be able to reveal the purposes of god as committed to you are we together So God anoints this trumpet and anoints Pastor Nath. And while he ministers, the sick are healed, oppression situations give way. Do you know why? Because he has committed his life to reveal the will of God. What is the will of God? That all men be saved. What is the will of God? That we experience the fullness of the reality of the life and the power of God. So whoever plunges into that will is secured of the backing of heaven. I must walk the works of him that sent me. And he says, when I sent you, lackest thou anything. When I sent you, not when you went. When I sent you. Because if I send you, I send you to do my will. If I tell this man now, please just go to that Pastor Nat's table and pick a bottle of water. You see that, for instance, I am sending you. My desire is to get that bottle right here. And you have made yourself available. And sometimes I can be so benevolent to say you will find two bottles. Drink one on your way, bring in the message. So if someone sees you drinking, he says, this is unfair. It's not unfair. It's the privilege of walking in the will. You see, there are certain things you see God doing to people and you say, this is unfair. And God says, no, don't look at what they are enjoying. Look at what they are doing. The day they stop doing that, which reveals his will, the privileges that follow that. This is why sometimes when people clap for us and say all kinds of things and say, ah, I think you must be, he reminds us immediately, your immunity and your prosperity and your influence is connected to the will. The day your commitment towards the will dies, there is no legitimate ground of giving you those resources again. I can tell you why many people go up, respectfully speaking, and you see that after many years, they just fade like a leaf. Maybe fame, maybe challenges, maybe frustration, just veered them out of the will of God. And they just decided to build an empire for themselves. And God, after several warnings, after several cautions, through men, by revelation, by scripture, that they ignored, God will be safe to assume that they have made an intentional decision that I am no longer interested in being part of your will. And he will respect their will. And in respecting their will, he will now withdraw the privileges that should have come as touching their obedience to his will. Believe me, this is true. Provided you are rooted in the will of God. Thy kingdom come is a very, very serious statement. Thy kingdom come means, Lord, I volunteer myself that for the rest of my life, I will not be found anywhere that is outside the scope of your will. Whatever you desire, is what I am doing. You know the word logos. 
means the thoughts of God and the intention of God in motion. His desire that wants to find expression. Jesus became an embodiment of God's will. Can you imagine that everything you want, you find someone who is doing it. Let me show you what Jesus was to the Father. I'm thinking now I am thirsty. Suddenly he goes to bring me water. I'm thinking now I need to help this lady. He goes to help her. Everything the father was thinking, Jesus was doing. That was why he was fail proof. Everything. The degree to which you succeed or fail is the degree to which you were in his will or outside of his will. Because sometimes we come in and go out, people just come in and go out and that accounts for the failures and the successes. Jesus was an expression of the father's will and desire. If the father wanted this lifted, you will see Jesus lifting it. If the father wanted it down, you will see Jesus bringing it down. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And he says, hear ye him. If you ignore him, he is an expression of my will. Whatever you see him do is what I'm thinking. Whatever you see him do, that means every time Jesus was headed the crusade ground, the will of God was there, desiring that the people be saved. Why do I know that the Lord Jesus will heal people here tonight? Because his word reveals his will. Is that true? When he sent them two by two, Matthew chapter 10, verse 1, verse 7, verse 8, when he sent them, he says, as you go, preach. He gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal how many? Read your Bible. All manner of sickness and all manner, verse 2, of disease. Disease does not mean bodily infirmity. Disease means anything that interrupts your convenience. Poverty. Failure. Whatever makes you cry is a disease. That's why he's separated between sickness and disease. Many people are not sick, but they have a lot of diseases in their lives. Hmm. By the time someone decides to sit on your file and say, for as long as I'm here, you will remain here, qualified or not. That is a disease. He that told you have asked for nothing. He says, ask and you will receive that your joy. Is that not one of the expression of the kingdom? Righteousness, peace, and joy. That means whatever interrupts your joy is stopping the manifestation of the kingdom. And God has to do something about it. Ah. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. So don't be surprised tonight that while you are here, because the word of God is going to be declared, remember his will again. The power of God does not just search for men, it searches for God's will. So we are releasing the will of God through words. And it comes to you because that will has landed on you. And such is these five areas of your life need correction. And the power moves like a messless warrior and begins to correct things just like that. So do not be surprised that whilst you are here, on account of God's determination to see his kingdom come by his will being done, he can wake someone who is asleep right now somewhere and compel them to arise and say 2021 should not finish without you blessing this person. I really believe what I'm telling you. I truly believe it. There are some of you right here, let me tell you sincerely, what would have happened? God revealed his will by January that some things should have been in place by November but as it is whether by demonic attack or lack of discernment it is not there but the power of God remember words don't die and as the word of God is being declared the Holy Ghost will move the blessings of January into February into March into April into May because you see listen 
you can't go back into January again but the Holy Ghost can go back home yes sir that means listen he can go into January and check what did God say should happen by now you should be lifted did it happen no he picks that blessing and shops all of those blessings brings it into today and lands it on you this night so that doors begin to open in ways that surprise you thy kingdom come. everything that makes for kingdom come you must believe now here one last example and then we pray The Bible says, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you. All the dimensions of grace, prospering grace, healing grace, grace that produces speed. God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye, having sufficiency in all things, may abound. God does not do things just for nothing whatever he does is connected to his will because his will is connected to the manifestation of his kingdom i came here tonight lending my voice with pastor nat alongside all the ministers who have come believing god that tonight will truly be a miracle and an impartation service what is a miracle service a miracle service is a platform that allows the multifaceted possibilities that are captured in the Christ to be expressed even by the Spirit of God in the lives of individuals. It is not limited to bodily healing. There are all kinds of possibilities that I want you to expect. Remember, he says, he that told you have asked for nothing. He said, ask and you will receive. And the protocol is you ask according to his will. Is that true? Mark chapter 11 and verse 24. The rule is that what things soever ye desire, it says, when ye pray, what things soever ye desire. Is that true? When ye pray, say, believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it. But now he gives you an added information that your desire must be consistent with his will. The Bible contains promises the bible contains principles the bible contains prophecies every time you open your bible you are interacting with these three dimensions of realities the promises of god a compendium of his commitment to you number two the principles of the kingdom a revelation of the modus operandi of the kingdom how the kingdom operates number three prophecies giving you hope about the future You are my hiding place You always fill my heart With songs of deliverance Whenever I am afraid I will trust in you I will trust Let the weak say I am strong in the strength Do not forget the two assignments that God is giving us. Number one, you must be about the pursuit of growing in the knowledge of his will. The knowledge of his will. That is the basis for seeing the outstretched arm and the power of God in your life. And number two, the engracing that makes you entire to fulfill that will. Then the secret was revealed to Daniel. God can reveal his will. God can reveal his will. Did you hear what I said? God can reveal his will. According to scripture, 
Bible says, for everyone that asketh, receive it. Not men of God who ask. Not preachers who ask. Everyone that asketh, receiveth. And to him that seeks, he shall find. To him that knocks, the door shall be opened. It's an assurance based on the word of God. Now please hear me. I know that we are here trusting God for all kinds of things in our lives. I want you to pray and declare, Lord, I know it is your will for me to do this and that. You see, when you know the will of God, no theology and no sermon will distract you from the certainty of the things that you believe. If I believe it is the will of God for me to prosper, there is nothing that will make me negate the reality of kingdom prosperity as far as fulfilling his will is concerned. Is that true? If I believe that it is God's will for me, that the fullness of my days I will fulfill. Even if sadly I have to be around an environment where people lose loved ones and even if I'm affected myself, I still remain resolute in the fact that this is God's will. It is on the basis of his will that we can say, let, ev let God be true and every man. While we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. The things that are seen are transient, they are temporal, but the things that are unseen, consistent with his will, are eternal. So the first prayer point tonight, let it be from the depth of your heart. You're going to cry. If you know the will of God concerning that area, begin to declare it. If you do not know, I'd like you to pray and say, Father, grant me access to the knowledge of your will concerning this and that area. Go ahead and pray. ahead and pray hey brush kede balaku sata brandi gidi baladaba shabrande gede beleku sata bradas kedi baladaras make sure you are praying front to the back left to right following online make sure you are praying Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Still Hebrews 13, 21. You're going to pray. I'd like you to look at your life sincerely. Be very honest. We're stepping into a very prophetic session right now. I want you to look at your life. What do you know that is needed in your life right now? As far as the revelation of the glory of God through your life is concerned, that is not yet captured. Let that be your passion because there is a grace that controls it. If it is speed that you need in your life so that the manifestation of the kingdom will be true in your life and yet you have not seen it, that becomes your desire. There is grace that is available for every dimension. Some of you, God has called you, you have the call of God upon your life. But doing end time ministry without results will frustrate you. You will be angry, you will be frustrated. Some of you are called like Pastor Nat into the ministry of prophetic psalmistry. Sounding the shofar to the nations. But as it is, the requisite level of engracing that makes you effective is not there. I want you to for one minute be tired of your current condition and say lord my life is not the greatest expression of your kingdom yet i pray that the unction that must come from heaven to make this happen for me let it come oh god someone is praying Ali Hallelujah. We are still going to pray that prayer. Maybe can I have one person from the worship thing sing me that last song, that Adonai song, very powerful. Want to tear this place open right now. It says, Oh, that thou would rend the heavens. Listen, don't forbear with anything that is not a true manifestation of the kingdom. Refuse it 
and reject it whatever it is whether it is sickness once it is not consistent with the will of God please help me we'll sing that Adonai song together as a united force we are going to cry that shout and the moment we sing it once or twice I'll begin to minister by the Spirit of God I really believe that for many of you mantles will fall upon your life tonight fall upon your life and turn you to another man listen 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 please I want you to be, don't be distracted don't be distracted this is about the manifestation of the kingdom of God by his will being done in your life we are enforcers of his will enforcers of his will if I know that God desires to elevate me so that from that elevated position Jesus is revealed through my life and the devil is trying to fight me tonight is the night that we crush him down to his knees hallelujah yes sir sense such a strong anointing in this place. Adonai. Just that part. I just sense in my spirit to start with please listen look up please I'm about to pray right now there are people here I sense in my spirit that the Spirit of God is uniquely selecting people in this place that he will use as enforcers of the kingdom within their families listen 
it may not be everybody but I want to pray the power of God is going to come on such people please bring them out right now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare spirit of the living God I decree by the power that raised Christ from the dead that everyone here that has been ordained by the spirit to be the enforcers of the kingdom within their families right now under this prophetic atmosphere I decree let that fire fall let that fire fall let that fire fall let that fire fall in the name of Jesus Christ please open up your heart I see a mighty move of the spirit here I'm still praying some of you your family members have prayed who will arise and become that platform of liberation right now the power of God is coming on you God is still recruiting men I declare may that fire fall right now front to the back please bring them out whether you are an usher or not help them enough is enough thy kingdom come it's time for your destiny to manifest the reality of the glory of God hallelujah hallelujah now listen listen here's what is going to happen i've requested that pastor Nat, in a very prophetic way he's going to blast this shofar listen you're not going to sing the moment they blast that shofar if there is anyone here called into the prophetic there will be a strong anointing coming upon you that's what the lord is telling me there are many people here it's time for that prophetic dimension within your spirit to find expression i just wanted to bring them out as the power of god rests upon them some of you have seen it in dreams you've seen it in visions it's time to walk in that grace yes sir prophetic mantles this is a spirit a spiritual clarion call we activate the prophetic in the name of Jesus let the fountains of the deep be open 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 Be released, be released. Spring up all wells from the realm of the spirit. Spring up all wells upon the oasis. hallelujah now please hear me I want to rebuke the spirit of delay I found myself praying this again and again truly there is a spirit of delay and I want to take authority over that spirit right now that if there be anyone at the sound of my voice at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus as we shout that name here at the oasis I decree and declare that everything that has tied your destiny down must give way. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command delay. Go now. Over families. Delay over businesses. Delay over destinies. Hallelujah. Now 
hear me please in the next one minute mention everything that must live your life now whatever it is that is not a representation of the kingdom of God remember what I told you about words that the power of God follows the words that are consistent with his will open your mouth in one minute begin to declare open your mouth in one minute begin to declare captivity we judge you barrenness we judge you wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name Hallelujah. Who is David? David. I'm hearing a name, David. You're a gentleman called David. Just have a few minutes and then we'll pray for the sick. I'm hearing a name, David. Is there anyone called David? Come, my friend. I tell you there is a warrior anointing in this place God is rising as a mighty man of war for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you are worthy of my praise we magnify your name we glorify your name we magnify your name we glorify your name hallelujah hallelujah the lord is showing me a man of god you are not you are not part of this the oasis you, you are a man of god you came of course i know there may be several men of god but you are in ministry actively in ministry you came particularly for this program. You are, not, you are not a member of the Oasis. This is what I'm seeing. Is there someone like that? I want to pray for you because the Lord is opening a new vista for you in ministry. Please don't come out carelessly. Let's have to verify them, please. Let there be order. Don't just come out carelessly. Where are you coming from, sir? Huh? Wow. Pastor Nath, I just saw something. There is someone here, God gave you an instruction to lend the trumpet. Who is that? Like you had a dream, God gave you an instruction that you should lend this trumpet. The way Pastor Nat is playing. Please don't tell lies. Don't, don't just come out. Who is that person? This is what the Lord gave me. What do you do? Uh -uh, what do you do? make graphic designs you make graphic designs and he said you should learn this, learn this have you started yesterday i spoke to somebody about it all of you you too i'll pray for you why are they all here david the power of god is coming on two of you i'm going to pray my god the power of god is going to come please help them is coming on two of you and the Lord is saying I should tell you that what I could not do with your father I will do with you this is what I'm hearing what I could not do with your father I will do with you I stretch my hands and I declare in the name that is above all names everything that represents a limitation in your life every manifestation of the spirit of inheritance 
I come against it right now in Jesus' name. And I release you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I'm still seeing two of you. It's like a, a, there is a mantle, an anointing that is coming upon you, an engracing of the spirit. Just for those of you who are in front here, we are going to pray for the rest shortly. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that by this anointing, may you be shifted to a dimension in the spirit that will empower you to do exploits for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone called Rotimi? Rotimi. Where are you? Rotimi. God bless you, sirs. Rotimi. I'm hearing a name, Rotimi. Please, let's hurry up so that... Don't, please don't bring out people at random. Don't worry, I'll pray. Come, madam. What's wrong with him? I will pray for them, eh? Just be patient. Roti me. I'm hearing the name Roti me. Is there someone like that? You are Roti me? Is it a feminine or... Oh, okay. Both. Okay, Roti me. Can I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ? Who works with UBA? UBA. I just saw that name, UBA. The bank. Is there someone here who works with UBA? The Lord is instructing me to pray for you. UBA. Please, if, you, if there is such a person, let me pray for you. Let's make this very, very fast. Because I want to pray for the sick. Your name is Rotimi. What happened to you, sir? I fell off my penthouse. You fell? Oh, dear. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Again, I'm seeing two of you. The power of God is coming on you. And the Lord is saying, I shall announce to you that it's a new season. You are stepping into the end of an old season. And then a new one is coming. May that grace right now come upon you. A new season. Please help them. By the spirit of the living God. You are stepping into a new season. I prophesy it upon you. In the mighty and even the marvelous name of Jesus. Let there be this supernatural miracle for you. In Jesus name I pray. Please who is UBA? I'm, I'm still seeing this. Is there someone like that? You're walking UBA. Who is that? I want to pray for you. How long have you been there, sir? Nine years. Nine years. I want to pray for you. Will you believe what I tell you? Your days are numbered there. God is shifting you to another. It's still in Nigeria, but a firm that will bless you. I'm not saying you should leave. I'm just telling you this is what God is telling me, that your days are numbered there and God is lifting you and it will surprise you how God will make it happen I you believe in the power of prophecy in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I pray may the Lord honor this word even over your life in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord honor this word right now by the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ Victoria 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 the Lord is breaking the bands of witchcraft over your life. Victoria. No problem if you are unable to come out. That's okay. I'll pray for you. Victoria, you know her? Can I pray for, for you, my dear? Look at me. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who you are, but I, the Lord is saying he's breaking the bands of witchcraft over your life. Did the Bible not say he has broken the gates of brass and even caught the bars of iron in sunder? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. Let him stand. I'll, I'll pray for the sick. Since he has come out, it will be laborious for him to go and come. You know, honestly, every time I see people who are sick and diseased, my heart, I know what it means to be with infirmity. And I've seen the power of God. I know that Jesus heals. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I stretch my hands towards you right now and I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be deliverance for you right now. Four people. 
will start running out right now. Please hold them. Four. Four across the congregation. These things are signs and wonders and that's why we must be flexible embracing the matters of the spirit. Four. This is what I saw. It's a marvelous hand and God is saying he's shifting them. This is like a shift, entering new dimensions of their lives. This is what the Lord is showing me. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb, seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, and every ocean roar. To the Lord of Lords, we will praise Adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of the sea. Praise Adonai, all the nations of the earth. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone who you know that you have the call of an evangelist. Listen carefully. But the Lord is saying, how I will announce you, leave that to me. Because you are wondering, Lord, from my lowly estate, where will I start from? Which ministry will I meet to give me the leverage? And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, how he will announce you, leave that to him. Yours is to be consistent. Allowing his spirit to build you until you mature to a point where he, you can now begin to serve his purposes. But I'm going to pray for you. The hand of God is going to come upon you. You don't have to bring them out. Lord, I don't know who it is that you are speaking to. But wherever he or she is, let this grace and this mantle that follows their call, wherever they are, Lord, let it land on them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the passion for souls, the grace to see the move of God because it is the will of God that all men be saved. Therefore, let there be that awakening right now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, let there be that awakening, a hunger. Some of you may not think that you, that you, you are able to do it. God does not call the qualified like we've taught We've been taught he qualifies those that he calls i pray again may that grace rest upon you now hallelujah before i pray for the sick i'm just seeing a vision and i'm seeing two names and these names is not just word of knowledge to call them but these are dimensions. I'm seeing Joseph and I'm seeing Esther. And I know that what is common to both of them is influence. That God took them from their lowly estate. That means there is a mantle in this place right now. There is a grace that elevates men. Hear me. I'm about to pray and I will plead again with Pastor Nath to blast that shofar. Some of you from this conference, God will take you from where you are and place you in strategic positions that can allow you to represent the purposes of the kingdom lord i pray right now wherever your people are scattered within this auditorium whoever must carry this grace this esther dimension of grace this joseph dimension of grace at the count of three and at the blast of the trumpet may that man to locate you right now one two three Take that grace now. Take that grace now. The grace for the palace. Esther's arise. Joseph's arise. Joseph's from the prison. We open the gate of the prison. Go to the throne for the sake of the kingdom. Esther's from the lowly estate. In the name of Jesus, we enthrone you. By the anointing, we enthrone you by the anointing. 
we enthrone you by the anointing. There are people here who are crying for divine direction. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Should I be in Lagos? Should I relocate? Divine direction. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God. I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning. I have learned to walk in your ways. There is a part for you now. Step by step, you lead me, and I will follow you all of my days. Prophesy step by step. The voice that must speak to you, the scripture that must come to you to give you accurate direction for the next three, four, five, ten years of your life, I declare in the name of Jesus the grace to hear that voice. Take it now. The grace to find that scripture. Take it now. Every confusion around your life, let it come to an end right now. Hear me and every counsel of Ahitophel around your life to draw you back and waste years.